my good people of Edo State. This is how E.J. Agmonima represented the good people of Ikbobaha and Ego, federal constituency, when he was elected under the platform of uh, People's Democratic Party, PDP, to represent the good people of Ikbobaha and Ego. These are the cattles in the classroom. E.J. Agmonima neglected these innocent children. He did not care about them. After E.J. Agmonima wrecking whatever amount of money he could accumulate, he abandoned these innocent children. Then, a couple of years later, E.J. Agmonima want to bamboozle the good people of Edo State. It can never happen. Number two, he just, this is a video of E.J. Agmonima fighting for OSP, OSP in Niger Delta. Listen to E.J. Agmonima where he said he come from. How long, Mr. Speaker? How long? I want to know how long it's going to take for the Niger Delta, the Menet, to be cleaned up. Go to Ikara, my community, my local government. The same thing. Go to Ikara, my community, my local government. The same thing. This man, is he really an Edo man? Listen to the way he fought for these people. You know, he raised an emotion and that oil was not clean. E.J. Agmoyima did not do the same. When Fula and he has made killer, he evaded our farm, he evaded Ikubaha, he evaded classroom. E.J. Agmoyima is a double standard man. E.J. Agmoyima is a political con man. E.J. Agmoyima is not to be trusted. E.J. Agmoyima is a blackmailer, just like he blackmailed myself. He has his terrorist network social media bandit to write articles, lie, blackmail, me, Eran Amigo, me, Abba. I will narrate EJ Agmonima so that the world can know who he is. He is now a Ukpopo man. EJ Agmonima, only one thing that I did is to ask you a question. Show us your report card. What did he do? What did you do when you were representing the good people of Ukpopo and Ego? Accountability. That's all I ask. EJ Agmonima, you you order your boys to blackmail me. Ah, uh, EJ Agmonima, haba. My people watch the video. Play his own role as usual. This is painful, Mr. Speaker. It is appalling. It is disheartening. Unacceptable. That our people should not live to suffer this way. What happened ago in Mexico, Mr. Speaker? The Gulf of Mexico, Mr. Speaker. It didn't take. The oil company, less than three, four, five months to clean up the mess. How long will it take to clean up the mess in the Niger Delta, Mr. Speaker? Across the Niger Delta, oil is spilled everywhere. Our people are expected to farm. People are expected, the fishermen, is it a sin? Is it a crime to come out of Niger Delta? My people are suffering, Mr. Speaker. I am from Niger Delta. And this community here, Burutu, tomorrow, when you see they're taking law into their hands, people begin to cry. For this country to survive, we all must put all our hands on deck to look in depthly how to solve this problem. How long, Mr. Speaker? How long? I want to know how long it's going to take for the Niger Delta, the menace to be cleaned up. Go to Ikara, my community, my local government. The same thing. Oil spillage everywhere. Destroy the farmland, destroy the waterways. Our people have nothing to do. And we are lamenting. A country where highly blessed by God. To thank you for the opportunity given to me. Enough is enough that the people of Niger Delta desire to live. Those farmers desire to do their farming. Those fishermen have the right to do it. Share Almighty with collaboration of DPRO, NFUC, all of them will be brought to, brought to justice, Mr. Speaker. Nozra, they should face and do the right thing. We know it, Mr. Speaker. This is the last hope for ordinary Nigerians. Please help me to support this menace.
Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and dear colleagues. Share, share, share.